Breeding Cinema Blend fans, I'm events editor Eric Eisenberg. And I am staff writer Connor Schwartfeger. And the reason why you're watching this video right now is because the embargo for Marvel Studios' is Black Panther has finally lifted. We no longer have to oh. limit ourselves and just talk about this in vagaries on social media. That's right. We can actually dig deep into this 18th film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Is this Universe. the 18th? This is the 18th That's, film. Oh my God. Crazy, crazy thing so for, awesome. for a decade of uh, filmmaking. But it should be noted uh, right up front that if you do not want to know anything about this movie, you probably shouldn't be watching this video. I'm not really perfectly clear on why you did, but for the rest <laughs> of you, uh, let's talk about Black Panther, let's shall we? Let's get into it. Uh, Connor, give me your base thoughts, man. I dug it. Okay. I liked it a lot. There are, I would say, more things that I really liked about it than I uh, had problems with, okay. but uh, I generally would put myself like a, a 7 out of 10. Okay. Some, something along those lines. I, I really liked it, but it's not my favorite Phase 3 movie. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be the enthusiastic guy in this conversation yeah. because I absolutely loved this film. Uh, my rank, if I'm going to be giving it out of 10, I give it a 9 out of 10. Yeah. I think that it is uh, not only one of the best movies of Phase two or Phase 3, yeah. I think it's second to only Civil War, but I think it is, without question, one of the best solo films that Marvel Studios has produced. Even though we already got to meet Black Panther in Civil War, it is an introduction to his world, mm -hmm. unlike really any other Marvel movie that we've seen, even though we've visited other worlds before. It's, it's a truly special experience and I was completely blown away. That actually is one good thing about this movie that I do want to hone in on is uh, the fact that it's a whole nother world. It's it's incredible at how well realized Wakanda is. I think it shows how bold Marvel is willing to be with the construction of these worlds. It's not just New York anymore. They're going to some crazy places. We also need to talk about the fact that Marvel Studios has had a villain problem in the past. They've yeah. had like, they, they, they don't always come out with the greatest antagonists. They tend to sometimes mirror in a not so great way. But I, yeah. I'm i going to just say that Eric Hillmonger, played by Michael B. Jordan, is my favorite Marvel villain. Favorite in ever. total. Favorite ever, ever. Mostly because it's so well tied into the socio-political angle of the entire story. Yeah. The just philosophies held by both T'Challa and Eric Killmonger are on other sides of the spectrum and they clash so incredibly well. Yeah. You're right. It's like there were so many moments in the movie where I'm thinking like, I get where this guy's coming from. I agree with him. He's he's not only like just a total badass, but like he's got an ideology that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this dude's pissed off and there's a reason for him to be pissed off. And it, it, and, it works. Yeah. Bridging from there, we need to talk about the supporting cast too, yeah. because yeah. I mean, this is Black Panther's movie. It is ultimately him driving it, but the supporting cast that is assembled here, there isn't yeah. a weak link. I think Andy Serkis as Ulysses Claw is absolutely astonishing. Danae Guerra as Okoye, Lupita Nyong'o as Nakia. Uh, I mean, it's it's the list goes on and on. Every single character, while they might not have the most screen time in the world, they all have a very vital part. To Probably play in the, the most well-rounded supporting cast of any Marvel movie. Yeah. I would say like like there's no one focal point. Everyone brings something different, and they all balance out each other really well. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, of course, you can read Connor's review now uh, live on uh, Central Ben's uh, page. And of course, we'll have tons more content. I have uh, I did interviews with uh, Ryan Coogler, the uh, writer, Joe Robert Cole, and the entire cast, which uh, we will be posting all right. across Central Ben. And of course, the movie itself will be coming out on February 16th. We are counting down the right. minutes, folks. And uh, I hope you are just as excited as we are. Again, I'm events editor Eric Eisenberg. And I'm staff writer Connor Schwartfeger. And we'll see you next time. Later, Good guys. One.